go forward and look to the right. There's a buck walking out of the... Oh, I see it. Holy shit. Go for it. Just go for it. Are you seeing that, people? We got, like, wildlife. We got wildlife. Look at this. Wow. It'd be very, very quiet. Very, very quiet. Look at that. Hi, Andy. How are you, baby? Jesus Christ. That's the second one we've seen so far. Isn't that crazy? It's just nuts. Wildlife, people. Wow. Damn. Just looking for water. It's always going, whoa, shit, dude. Oh, there's another freaking deer. Are you kidding me? That's a different one. Dude, we're in wildlife, people. We're in the wildlife preserve. Isn't that something? So yeah, I don't know. I love trails that I've never been on because it's so freaking exciting. You don't know what the hell's gonna come up, you know? But at the same time, you're like, you don't know what the hell's coming up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, people? It's like, you know. <clears throat> so recently, well actually it's still live. I did a survey on my community tab on my YouTube channel. And I asked people what kinds of videos they like. Because I do, you know, these kinds of, like, let's call these group rides. I do rides where I just ride by myself and just bullshit. I do rides that, or I do um, videos, you know, about instructional stuff. Like, um, you know, how to uh, change your tire, how to patch your tire, you know, how to fix your brakes from rubbing, that kind of stuff. And then I do, like, e-bike in introductions and overviews, you know, and reviews. And, uh, number one, by a lot, was e-bike intros and reviews. So I'm going to start doing more of those. But second, in a very close second place, like 33% to 29%, was me riding by myself and just bullshit. So... I'm kind of doing a hybrid on this trail right here. This is me with some guys, but I'm going to try to bullshit at the same time. So this is a hybrid, you know what I mean? So I think in like the past when I go on group rides, I kind of, I don't really talk much. I'm just so kind of, I don't know, in awe of what's happening, but I'm going to try to talk on this one, okay? And I haven't ridden with James in a bit. I haven't ridden with Val. Like this is my second time ever with Val. So should be a good adventure peeps so we're in monrovia california it's kind of near pasadena where the rose bowl is for those that don't know oh boy we got some serious steepness here oh boy Heaps. Oh. All right, Jesus Christ. All right. It's just nice to know when something like that's coming. So you have like a little momentum, you know what I mean? Come on, people, I gotta get on track. Fuck me. that guy that was stuck dude it's funny it's just that there's always a guy who needs water or gets lost he was i'm just here to help you know did you bring the drone no i didn't oh we should go up that trail right there crazy, dude. oh right there that's, that's our trail right there that one yeah it's a wicked trail dude, that's gotta be like 30 percent great I don't think the Surrounds can make it, but I think this thing can. I don't know about that. <laughs> dude, I was good except I popped a wheelie when we hit that last thing. Yeah, dude, that's what me out sometimes, too. You gotta, like, lean forward. How are you on air? I'm good. Yeah. Like, 12%, maybe? Dude, I'm so high right now. I was like... A... Oh, really? All right, people. We're back. Had a little tire situation, but we're back. You good? Catch up to you 
James had his tires too high and then he put it all the way down to zero. And now he's at like 12. I think I'm at like probably 15, maybe 12, which is good. I like it. I was at like 25 at one point and I had like no grip, you know? I'm really liking my 12 to 15. It's just like it flattens the tire out at the bottom enough that you have a lot of surface area of contact, you know? A lot more carving capabilities. Hence shredding, hence shredder, hence the frickin' shredder. Get it? It all makes sense, doesn't it? So Val is gonna be like Mr. Moto and try to catch up, but I don't know how he's gonna do that because we're like way down here and I didn't even see him yet. So my goal today, in addition to staying alive, which is always my goal, is to stay out of the bushes. I've already been in the bushes twice. No need to be in the bushes. If you're in the bushes, you're off path. You are awry. I don't want to be awry. Anyhow, out of the bushes. OTB, that's what today is. Not off track betting, but out of the bushes. All right. I tend to go silent when I think I'm in danger, so. If you see me going silent, it's because I think something's happening. Like scaling a very steep hill with big divots going through it, you know? This is uh, reminiscent of Hungry Valley with Tyler. Man, they got some fucking hills that just come out of nowhere. Gotta have some power and you're not getting up this shit. We're scaling mountains, people. This is mountaineering. This isn't even riding bikes. Of course, James is gone. Fearless. Packs a lot, packs a lot of balls into that little body. See, now we got momentum. Like, how great, great is this? See how nice that is? I love me some momentum. So much easier. Oh man, these are some freaking hills, people. Jesus Christ. Wow, we're going up that? I was just looking at that thinking, holy shit, we're actually going up it. Wow. Oh my god, people. Some serious vertical activity here. This is probably like a 25% grade, like no shit. Wow. Loving my eagle. How's that? That was some freaking steep shit, dude. That's some good shit, huh? When we were down there, like right there. I was like, God, I can't believe we're, I hope we don't go up that shit. <laughs> Fuck, at least we had momentum. And then you're like, shit, you just gotta We go. gotta do it, at least we have momentum. Yeah. So I just I just said the line. Well, look at that trail right there where it just drops off. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it's crazy. I that just said the line, James has a lot of balls in that little body. That's what I said. I feel like it's a little bit more than <laughs> Billy Goat. That's like. Dude, how the, I don't even, yeah, Goat could fucking scale that, that's about it. That's what we were looking at before, so that, but this is the bottom part. That shit. basically is a fire, they started to block a fire line right there. Oh. That's probably why that's dug. I want to see if Val's behind me, but I can't dare look away from the path. I'm just going to assume he's there. So anyway, I had my two gloves on the LAE skate ride. I was floating my bike on the truck and I put my two gloves on the tail of the truck and I drove away. And when I got home, 45 miles later, one of them was still there. That's this one. And then I realized the other one's gone. So I actually ordered some new ones, but they're not here yet. So hence I have a, uh, a baseball glove of all things. Or it might be golf. I can't remember what it is. It's from a while ago, so. 
I don't know, I had a golf, I had golf gloves at, gloves at one point and I have had baseball gloves at one point, so I'm not sure what the hell it is. Here it is, so you can see it. Yep. So I have different feels. I'll tell you that the, the moto glove is a lot more comfortable. It's more elastic. Alright, Val's behind me. All good. Wow, we got some rock quarries going on over here. That was fun. That's called redundancy when you go right over the same freaking path again. I think James loved that view so much he wanted to see it again. So, God bless the man, I guess. Yeah, these motherfuckers are talking. I gotta get me a goddamn headset. Fuck. Really? Everybody's talking? What the hell is this? Is this even a path? Whoa, shit. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Is this a you, path? You remember when this is like a made up trail that he's made up. It is now. <laughs> Dude, we're like in the middle of nowhere. You know, these guys all know how to freaking ride. And it's like, I've been riding for so long with them, but they used to ride before they even met me for like years with motorcycles and shit. And so, I don't know. I don't think I can ever catch up, you know? When I get to where, I'm not even where they were when we started, but <laughs> as I get inch closer, they keep going further. So, you know what I mean? Oh, there's some dog shit. <laughs> Dogs can do this, I can do this, right, people? And we're off path in it, I tell you what. <sighs> off path. In it. Like big time off path. In it. Okay, now we're back on the path. Dude, James just pulled a freaking wheelie. Did I see that? This is like a roll down memory lane for James. That's where Jimmy lost his toe. That's where Tommy found a dildo. That's where Bobby met his his wife. You know, it, whatever, dude. Let's ride the goddamn trail. I don't know, Bobby or Tommy. Anyway, I'm just theorizing. You know what I mean? Spitballing people. <sighs> yeah, some of this shit puts. I'm Valley to shame there. I said, really? I didn't think it was possible. Man, these mofos are talking. Probably like this ditch cannon, man. Let's, let's go get something to eat and leave this mofo behind. I don't know where the hell I'm going. I guess I could just follow the poop. There's plenty of that. These stupid headset things that I'll show you what they look like, but I guess I gotta get one. James was telling me about it like a month ago. I'm like, what the hell do I need that for? But now I guess I get it. So we can talk about bullshit. Hey there. Making friends. Everywhere as we go. These guys are like piling around on their goddamn walkie-talkies and it's like I'm by myself. They're like, oh yeah, let's clue Kevin in and what the hell we're doing. It's like, really, dude? Man. So, I've ridden out here. Kind of like a little spot you can ride up there. And it kind of like drops dead in. Hard to Look at the views these people have. Fuck. Beautiful, huh? Yeah. Part of it is anyway. Have a good one. Right, yeah, I know it's gnarly. I love when people tell you shit's gnarly before you go down it. It's like, really, dude? Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Watch that big tree right there. Shit.
Sometimes you gotta pick her up, people, and walk her or flip her. That's just nuts. So anyway, I don't like when people tell me shit's gnarly. I just don't like to hear it. It's not my favorite word. The only video I've ever done out of my 250 videos where I use the word gnarly on the thumbnail was one where I went in the dirt at Benelli Park and almost died. So gnarly's not my friend. I don't like when people use that word. At all. Oh shit, fuck that man. James way the heck down there. Definitely off seat in it. This is some rough shit, people. Really rough shit. Back to the beginning. Huh? This is back to the beginning. How'd you like that? That was nice. So there's another access place.